Right, and folks, how are we doing? Uh, it's uh, <laughs> bloody dogs. Uh, yeah, today we're gonna not very exciting, but we're gonna blow the bayer off and give uh, give that a once over. Yeah, ready for the season. You know, uh, I can see a load of net wrap around the pickup times and the star drive there from here. Uh, I want a bit of a blow off. And then we're going to check all the bearings, chains, everything like that. We're going to get it the once over. So let's get it uh, tracked, fired up, draw my on, and get the baler on. And we can blow it off and get on, can't we? All right, so I'll stick the draw bar in. Blooming dogs. Shush, that'll do. I've just had them out ratting. Well, they think ratting anyway. They were. Uh, Having a good look around the straw as they do, and the bags, and <laughs> they love it, they do. Did actually get a phone call the other day. One of the local farms, he got, uh, he was put a bag of seed in his drill, and there was a rat in there. Well, actually, a little rat family, and uh, it was stuck in the opera of his drill this rat was under the mushroom where all the pipes come off in the hopper and he couldn't get it he's prodding it and trying to get it out and it had come out and turn around and go back in again so he gave me a call and uh, I chucked old flodger in there and uh, yeah it took about 20 seconds for her to realise there was a rat in there and then that was it chomp 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 she was on it Look at her. <laughs> they love a bit of rain, they do. Even Penny, who's uh, cracking on now, age-wise. She's still, uh, she still uh, loves a bit of ratting. You know, she has, well, she had good days and bad days. She's got a bit of arthritis now, the old girl. So sometimes she can be very, what's the word, very sort of, very elderly and doddery and the slightest move and she'll squeal and then um, get her on some old drugs, a bit of gange, she loves a bit of gange, yes she does, and um, she's right as rain. And we've got to lift up a smidge, up you come. We should get that there, I should think. We should be able to wobble it. Yeah, well this is a, as you can see, it's a 245 Profi, a Welga, which don't exist anymore. Swallowed up by Agco, and you can still get these sort of things in fent colours. Obviously, they've had a bit of a bit of a rejig I've probably updated them a bit now because it's been ooh, probably about three years I think now there you go that's in operate that valve that'll stop the that stops the door coming down just a safety precaution That's gonna have to come off, isn't it? I've got the um, a uh, little uh, lever bar with me. It does build up, if I remember. It does build up behind them. But if we get the season doors open, we'll get the rest of the machine blown down, and we can do that after, can't we? Right, I've got the basically most of the guards off, apart from the, the back one up there. So now time to try and spark the old blower up and uh, blow this thing off. That's all I've got is some glasses. I ain't got any masks, strange that isn't it. <laughs> Current situation and all. Alright. See if this puppy will start. This is a mount field, this is. 
and I've had it for um, I've had it for a couple of years. No, three years I think. It's been a while since I started it. I bought this one because it's um because it's a sucker as well, so I can suck my leaves up. But it's also got bloody good blow. Um, it's got as much blow as a you know a standard steer has. So uh, it's yes, yeah, good little bit of kit really. There you go. That's not bad, is it? Three pulls and we're away. She's all blown off. So, what do you look for when you service in a baler? Well, you look for the same stuff that you look for when you service any other bit of kit, really. You're looking for, you know, cracks in the steel, you're looking for loose bolts, you're looking for um, bearings that are collapsed. In this case, chains that are loose, or worn, tensioners, like that. It's basically you just go through the machine, start one end, go to the other, and check everything. Um, yeah, old built. Someone's been out uh, doing what they shouldn't be doing. Well, these welgers, I think. Um, I mean, I've not heard too many stories about them having structural problems. Like a quite a few. Well. Some round balers, they do end up cracking up around the top there on the top pivot of the door, and you can have problems on the drawbar because, as you see, it's quite a thin, slender drawbar. Um, a lot depends whether they've been <coughs> had a tweak from the from the old lift arms, um, whether they're cracked or not. But these look all right. I have had to brace one of these up before it started cracking out and started splitting but this one looks all right um obviously we've got the pto to check there but i'll just do that when i get it around the yard i'm just going to give a quick sort of overview whilst uh, i've got the camera rolling <laughs> obviously we're going to need a few tines on it See what we can find, shall we? Basically, to check your bearings, you want to get a hard point. You want your bar like this, get a hard point. You want to just try and lift it, see if there's any movement in it like that, you see. That's a new tension that was put on last year. That's your ratchet clutch there. Basically everything just wants leaving. I mean I'm hoping not to find something to show you, to be honest. You got a little bit of lateral on that, but that's well that's not an issue. It's up and down movement that you're worried about. And like I say, I'm hoping not to find anything to show you. So we've got some T 
tensioners to adjust. Some of them are like that oh, rubber type. Others are this um, on these welgers. They're like this oval plastic oval bush, and uh, you rotate that a bit to adjust the tension, and because they wear, and that one's obviously wear because the chain's sitting in the in the bush a bit. That's all right. Let's say I will do a, a more thorough, a more thorough check. So I've got to get the back panels off and everything, but just for the purposes of this, that chain is not supposed to be on that bit of the um, of that drive wheel there. It's supposed to, it drives off there, this end, but it sits very, very close. In fact, while touching. And there's probably about the right amount of tension in it. Maybe a bit more wouldn't uh, go amiss. Well, oh dear springs to mind with that, doesn't it? That'll be why that is. See how We've got a naked bear in there. That ain't good, is it? Oh dear, oh dear. You see it's been rubbing in there. That's not good. That's not good. I've had, I've had to strip one of these all down that side, and I'm, so I'm going to have to do the same. Oh, well. <laughs> Don't really want to... Didn't really want to find that, but there you go. That's the whole point of doing a service before you, do, you know, get it out of the shed and put it straight to work. Give you a chance to sort these things. But yeah, it's a bit of a major one, I reckon. I've not had to, I've not had to replace that bearing before, but uh, obviously you're gonna have to. Anyway, I'm uh, now. I found that. I know. I'm going to have to get cracking, so I'm going to go and get the air adapter for the tractor to put some wind in that tyre and take it around the yard and start stripping it down, see, what's, uh, see what we can find. Oh, we're just uh, getting this blooming conical lock tensioner thing off. It's a bugger, to be honest. Oh, what a bugger. It was incorrectly fitted so that the two, uh, where, where it splits on each ring, weren't in line. So it was a pig to get out, but it's out. Uh, and now we can have a look at what the damage is. It's just the bearing all we need, anything else. It might just be the bearing. I think it's just been wearing on the end of bearing race, I reckon. That off there, that off. Oh, that probably didn't help, did it? That's the grease in pipe. Whether that's before or after it um, collapsed. Oh, I think we're alright, we can just get away with a bearing, I reckon. So it's all out apart from uh, the inner bearing race, which is that bit there. Back bit of the bearing there as well. Just got to get them out. Shouldn't be too hard. Shaft's all right. That's no problem with that. Actual casting around there. That's all fine. We're going to need new bearing holder. Um, well, it might be right because that's the 
there with a crack in it is the outer bearing race. So we'll get that out of there. We might be all right. It might just be a new bearing. And uh, that'll be it. So that'd be well, kind of lucky, really, wouldn't it? Um, that's the only major thing I've found with it so far, anyway. Nothing too too drastic. Um, got a little oil leaks on it and that, but the uh, rest of the bearings and that seem all right. So happy days. Cool, that's a warm one today. Must be about 21, 22 degrees, not a drop of wind. Got to tell you, not used to it, not used to it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!